Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is part of an ongoing series where I go through all the categories within my closet. And this week we're gonna be going through my jeans. And just like last week, I'm gonna be ranking the jeans on different criteria that I have. That's gonna come down to fit, wash, durability, comfort, and lastly, versatility. So the first pair of jeans is gonna be from Our Legacy. This is their third cut in the extended super light wash denim. For fit, I'm gonna rank these a 6.5. It's not like um, very flattering, but if you like that wide leg style, this is something that would be good for you. Then for wash, this is gonna be a 10. I thought the blue wash was really perfect and it doesn't disappoint in person either. For versatility, I'm gonna score these a five. This really depends on what you have in your closet. Personally, I find I have to be really careful when styling these so that it just doesn't drown me or look like too oversized. As far as durability, I would rank these a six. They're not the thickest pair of jeans and I find they do stretch out a little bit in between washes. And then lastly, for comfort, I'm also gonna rank these a six because of the non-stretch aspect, just a pretty standard pair of denim. And that's gonna be a total score of 33.5. Next, I have a pair of Japanese selvage denim from Studio De Artisan. Here's the back leather patch. And then they have an awesome patch on the flip side of that that says reconstruction of great old things. They use like a lot of vintage looms from Levi's from like a hundred years ago and the weft thread, which is typically like a white thread, is dyed red. And then you can see the selvage lining here. Why that's special is that the fading creates a really unique color. You can see a little bit of the red coming through behind the blue. Additionally, these have like a really uneven texture. They feel quite rough and nappy, so some of the outer threads that poke out a little bit more have already faded to a really light and vibrant blue. Anyway, I just find as I wear these jeans, they get like more and more unique and special. So I'm a pretty big fan. These are a selvage pair of denim. I think this has become quite a buzzword when it comes to buying like uh, premium denim. Selvage is not necessarily gonna speak to the quality of the denim. It's more so that when the denim is cut as part of the pattern, all of it is lined up to the edge of the loom. And so there's something that's called a marker. And when you place out the pieces of your pattern, that basically is your marker on like the full roll of fabric they place that marker right along the edge of the fabric roll so that the jeans catch this selvage all the way up. Now, does that like relate to the quality whatsoever? Not really. I think what it comes down to is there's a higher attention to detail. You could do a more efficient marker just in the middle of the fabric roll if the manufacturer is really like willing to do that more time intensive and costly process they probably are gonna apply that to the different parts of the denim. So that's just one like clarifying point I wanted to talk about with selvage. Now for fit, I'm gonna rank these a six. With a lot of these Japanese brands, you are gonna find like a very standard fit, maybe tapered down at the bottom. As far as wash, I'm gonna give these an eight with the inside red color and then the way the denim is fading right now, I think it's a very beautiful pair of jeans and one that will just continue to get better with time. Versatility, I'm gonna give these an eight. I've worn them with most everything in my closet. The only thing I have to be aware of is that very specific color, but fit pretty much goes with anything I wear. Comfort, unfortunately for these, is gonna be a five. These are a 15 ounce pair of denim, so they're very heavyweight, and so you don't have a lot of flexibility there. Lastly, it's gonna be durability. These make up some ground with a 10 for durability. These just feel like a pair of jeans that I could have 20 years from now. So that's gonna come to a total score of 37. Next is gonna be this pair of Capital Century Denim. Now, this is a pretty well-known style from Capital, mostly because of the sashiko stitch that goes all the way throughout the jeans. The sashiko stitching technique is a traditional technique where oftentimes farmers would use thick cotton threads to reinforce clothing. Also, like a special part of these jeans is the indigo dyeing. This is called the number one, two, three pair. They use three different kinds of indigo. One is an American indigo, another is a Japanese indigo, and then a third is a natural indigo. I wanted to do a little demonstration to showcase like how much indigo is like packed into these. So I just have a dishcloth here, and then obviously the pair of jeans. Rub, rub, rub. And like, it's truly insane, like the amount of color when you're wearing white shoes, 
if you wear the same shoes for a day or two, they will like bleed off onto the shoes and create a little like blue circle where the jeans sat. For fit, I'm gonna rank these a five. It's a very standard straight leg. For wash, I'm gonna rank it a seven. Right now, the indigo color really just resembles a typical pair of dark wash jeans, but I'm very much looking forward to these fading. And then for versatility, I'm gonna score them a five. I find that it really does fall into that capital aesthetic that is pretty difficult to dress up or wear in a formal manner. Comfort, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give these jeans a one. They are by far the most uncomfortable jeans I've ever worn. You could kind of choose any other pair of pants and be more comfortable. Comfort is like a top priority to you, and it, it is to me, but like sometimes comfort, <laughs> Sometimes comfort for me is also about how I feel in the piece of clothing. Like obviously sweatpants are gonna be more comfortable than jeans, obviously. But with jeans, I might feel like, you know, better, a little bit more dressed up, like happier to step out of the house. I'm describing the obvious right now. When you wear a suit, you might look a little, you might feel like more powerful or whatever the fuck. So these give you like a really cool feeling. Like you feel like you're wearing like armor or whatever on your legs, but they're insanely uncomfortable. Anyway, <laughs> durability wise, a 10, like they're so strong. The reason I bought these jeans was I ended up wearing like a pair of raw denim for 30 days straight as like a little challenge to myself. And after that, I just wanted more. And then I tried these on in store and it just beat out any other pair of jeans I had tried on in terms of like how heavy they felt, how strong. And I was just like, man, like it doesn't get much better than that. So durability wise, like I don't think these are going anywhere. So. That was so long, but yep, that's the Capital Century denim. And that's a total score of 28. The next pair of jeans is gonna be quite a change from the previous ones I've shown. It's gonna be these pair of Tom Chrome skinny jeans. So for fit, I'm gonna rank these a nine. They're a skinny leg, but I find it very, very flattering. Then wash, I'm gonna rank it an eight. I think it's really nice. Very subtle. For versatility, I'm gonna rank these a nine. As I said, I can wear skinny jeans with pretty much anything. Now, if you had asked me two or three years ago, I was not a big fan of stretch denim. I would find that the stretch denim was so thin that you could like see your leg like through it. But I think that Tong Chrome uses a little bit of a thicker fabric that just doesn't have the same like cheap feeling but it's so comfortable. And then the last criteria is gonna be durability. I'm gonna give these a six, and that's gonna be a total ranking of 42. And then the next pair of jeans are also from Tom Chrome. These are their black trousers. They have a couple of small changes, but are pretty similar overall. So one is that the belt loops are much thicker than this also has a button fly with these solid black buttons. One detail about both of these jeans is they have a J-cut leg, which means it curves in a little bit. Fit-wise, these are gonna be an 8.5. They fit almost identical to the previous jeans, but I find the fabric is a touch thicker, so they're not as flattering. For wash, I'm gonna score these an eight. It's a very, very deep black, and I find it has a tiny bit of a sheen on it as well, so something different while staying ultra versatile. Leading right into the versatility ranking, I'm gonna score these an eight. I haven't worn these with boots as much, but it's just a normal black pair of pants, so I think you can still wear these with so many things. And then comfort is also gonna be a 10. These Tom Chrome pants are super, super comfortable. I can really recommend the brand and the fabrics that they use. And that's gonna be a total score of 40.5. Boy, I'm so tired. <laughs> I ended up cutting out a, a bunch, I'm sure, but I did talk about the capital pants for like 25 minutes. Luckily, we've made it to the last pair of jeans, which is gonna be this pair from 11 by Boris Bidge and Saberi. This is a very lightly waxed pair of skinny black jeans. They have these like thick wooden buttons that feel very artisanal and they have a string running through them, which ends up attaching the whole button fly. Focus. And then they have a raw hem that flares out a bit compared to the calf. And so just the way these jeans fit, I find is like tight in all the right places. They have a tiny bit of stretch to them, which is quite essential. If you've ever tried like the P11s from Boris, or the, I think it's called, the P13. 
Yeah, I think the P13 like tight fit, which is definitely one of the more well-known styles from Boris Bid and Saberi, but they have no stretch to them. So they are pretty uncomfortable because these have a little bit more stretch. I find them a lot more practical than the P13. For ranking, first up we have fit. I'm gonna rank these a nine. I think that fit wise, they would work best on someone with really a slim body type. For wash, I think the main like star of the show is gonna be the waxing effect. It almost can resemble leather in certain lights and so I really am a big fan of that and again, I score it an eight. For versatility, I'm gonna go with a seven. They're a skinny black pair of jeans, so they're gonna go with most anything. For comfort, these are also gonna score a seven. These have a tiny bit of stretch, but not as much as the Tom Chrome pants. Durability, I'm gonna score an eight. While they're not the thickest pair of jeans, they feel like they will last quite, quite a while. And so the total score is gonna be 39 points. That wraps up the video, and here are the final rankings. And that's gonna be all for today. I'll be back next week with the rest of my pants. Some really cool pieces from Dries, Le Maire, and more. So please subscribe for more. Check it out. Bye for now.